We have a voicemail number. That number is two one nine two David P. Here's something kind of funny. So we launched the David Pakman show finance channel, and I, I've mentioned this before. You can find it at youtube.com slash Pacman finance. It's no politics. It's just basic personal finance uh, education and advice, and it's not specific advice. It's just general concepts that are important to understand. We're already almost at 10,000 subscribers. It is seems to be striking a nerve. Last week, I showed a message from a viewer who said, what are my credentials to even talk about this? And I said, well, I have an MBA specializing in financial planning. Those are my credentials. And it's not like a humble brag. It's just someone said, what are your credentials? Those are my credentials. And here is a caller who says, no, 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 that's not enough. Hey, David, um, you know, I recently watched your video on your main YouTube channel talking yeah. about, you know, um, how exactly you're qualified to talk financial matters. And you said because you had an MBA, you're qualified to talk on financial matters. Right. Well, David, let me get something straight, dude. An MBA does not make you qualified to talk on financial matters. OK, come back when you have a Ph.D. or something like really special. OK, David, I mean, get a freaking grip, dude. Just because you have an MBA doesn't mean you're qualified to speak on financial matters. In fact, I think the most prudent financial advice comes from Dave Ramsey, David. You know what Dave Ramsey has? Not an MBA, bitch. Yeah. Well, Dave Ramsey does have a bachelor's degree, so that is something. Yeah, listen, to be totally honest, there's people who know a ton about personal finance and don't have any degree in it. It's, it's actually it was sort of like a joke. Um, it reminds me of some discussion we were looking at where someone said to an economist, what qualifies you to give uh, economic uh, analysis anyway? And the guy's like, well, I have a Ph.D. in economics. Um, it's it, you know, we've talked about the appeal to authority and the appeal to expertise as potential cognitive biases or logical fallacies, rather not cognitive biases. And the truth is, I, I don't even really subscribe to what I said, which is like I know about this stuff because of my degree, because quite frankly, most of the stuff you learn by doing and you learn by by individual research and learning. But anyway, I encourage you check out the finance channel, subscribe for free, totally different thing. The way I describe it is it's like Dave Ramsey without the right wing nuttery, without the Christian messaging and without the anti vax. That's the idea of the Pacman Finance channel, youtube.com slash Pacman Finance. We've got a great bonus show for you today. Joe Biden is warning oil industry uh, companies as Hurricane Ian has made landfall in Florida. And Joe Biden is saying, do not gouge the American people on gas. We will see if they will heed his warning. Joe Biden has also approved an additional billion plus dollars in security assistance to Ukraine. Are Republicans in favor of or against this? Because remember, it was Biden didn't do enough for Ukraine. And also there's too much money going there. Wait, so how could it be both? And Donald Trump is seeking to end his rape accusers defamation lawsuit. Is this finally going to be the end of the road for that lawsuit or not? All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Sign up at joinpacman.com. Use the coupon code indict to get yourself a discount. And we will see you then when I am joined by producer Pat. By the way, a lot of people writing in and saying, David, what is up with that bruise on producer Pat's nose? He explains it on the bonus show this week. He explains what happened to his nose. So please tune in. Joinpacman.com. We'll see you on the bonus show.